in today's video i am going to be showing you how to use keyboard and mouse in blogs fruit i think like a lot of people in my previous video with in which i showed how to play with keyboard and mouse on android if you see this video and understand it correctly then you will be able to play with keyboard and mouse on basically any game on roblox and maybe even other other games on like play store and stuff but yeah let's go ahead and let's get started but firstly i just want to clear out some things so uh, so basically if you have android 11 or 12 then right clicking will work directly so basically you can just go ahead and open up roblox and also make sure you have your keyboard and mouse connected otherwise this won't work obviously and if you want to know how to connect your keyboard and mouse so basically if you have not yet purchased any keyboard and mouse to place so what you can do is get a usb hub which you can find for like very cheap uh, it's not even like a one dollar or something it's way too cheap you uh, just tell someone usb hub and he will give you talk to a shopkeeper uh, so you can also find it online and you can purchase one keyboard and mouse both should be wired because if you use a bluetooth one then bluetooth one does have some latency and your overall experience won't be that good i'm telling you because i purchased a bluetooth one so don't buy a bluetooth keyboard and mouse and if you have one keyboard or a one mouse of bluetooth and the other one is of the wired one then you can do is connect the wired one using an otg adapter or the usb hub and your mouse would work on your phone and for the keyboard just connect it using your bluetooth and you can have both of your keyboard and mouse up and running on your phone so now i'm going to be showing you if you have android 11 what is going to happen okay so here we are in blocks fruit anyways so you can see that if i am right clicking on my mouse uh, basically this is working you can see usually what happens if you don't have android 11 then what's going to happen is right clicking will uh, work as your back key so basically if you right click it's going to show this screen and it will keep on happening and uh, basically right clicking thing is now fixed with android 11 but what if you don't have android 11 and you are running like android 10 or 8 or something also i have no idea if this is working on all android 11 devices or is it just for like maybe uh, maybe like samsung has fixed this and it still doesn't work on other phones i don't know but anyways regardless of which phone or device you own i'm just going to show you how you can do this on any android version it could be android 5 could be android 6 could be android 9 or could be even android 10 so i'm going to show you that so first just yeah make sure you have your keyboard and mouse connected now open up your play store application now here just search up for an app called octopus octopus and this is the app so just search it up so you can see octopus game pad mouse keyboard key mapper so just install this it even works if you have a gamepad and you don't have a keyboard and mouse uh, so once you have the octopus downloaded just press open it's going to ask you for the uh, um, photos medias and files so just allow it okay so if you have your keyboard and mouse connected then 
it should show you something like this over here as you can see it says connected usb optical mouse and bluetooth 3.0 keyboard so this uh, should show you the keyboard and mouse name so, so once you are done so if you don't see roblox here just click on the plus icon so once you click the plus icon look up for roblox now i'm going to click on roblox here is going to ask for drawing over other permission so just give that here you can see i'm just going to scroll down okay so here is octopus i am going to enable it there we go now go back now just click on roblox again now it's going to ask another permission and uh, just allow that to all of these permissions are required to run this app these are a lot of permission but it won't hack your data or anything so just click roblox again and now you can see a lot of people literally get stuck here seriously it literally says octopus light users can experience octopus without saving whatever this thing is you can see there's a skip button you can literally click that and it's going to say launching application now here you can see this game requires google play service which is broken now so uh, what this is uh, telling you is that this game uh, roblox requires google play games services google play services which is currently broken which is so it's just like promoting its basic version to fix get the pro version to fix and it literally says here gaming without fix is okay in some games but not recommended but you can do is click skip i don't know why but if you don't watch this video this will not work and right click might not even work so just watch till the end and if you spam in the comment saying this does not work then i'm not going to reply to you if uh, you don't have a good reason like if you say the right click doesn't work or anything i won't reply to you but if you say something good like uh, an actual question which i did not answer in this video then i will answer that just click skip here but if it does not launch just click on roblox again and now see there might be an issue saying uh, it will like crash and say something here something like clear data and retry so what you need to do in that case you just go to octopus app info and clear its data and then just reopen octopus and do the steps again okay so now the thing here is you will need to sign in what this is is because of google play services which is see so the roblox works with google play services and we are using it without google play services that's why this is happening and that was the warning which octopus gave us there i'm just going to create a new account you might see this popping up here and there but this will still work so just click ok just click on the roblox icon to get here click settings and here choose this to thumbstick if you can't change it in some games just leave it then so you can see right now you can move actually but it's like weird like see i need to use my left click to move uh, not to move but move the camera and i can't even see i can't move and rotate the camera at the same time so what are we going to do first click on that octopus logo now from here click on this keyboard and mouse logo 
and if it's on gamepad just change it to keyboard make sure it's on keyboard now go back just click on the plus icon now see basically these are all the things how you are able to play this game so how this works is uh, just like these keys so you can put this key anywhere like for example i'm going to let's say keep it here so now you can see it is asking me to enter a value basically enter any key so for example i'm going to add this uh, slash and uh, once you do that like i'm just going to uh, just press the check mark and if this is turned off just turn it on so you can see now if i click that slash the chat is going to work see so the chat is opening when i'm clicking the slash icon now if i if let's say for example if i want to jump so i'm going to press i want i'm going to change a key there put a key there and change it to a space bar you can see it's turned to a space and also if you cl end up just clicking on it the key would pop anywhere randomly on the screen so just don't do that i would suggest you just hold and drag and drop it wherever you want to now the main thing which a lot of people were asking me how do you shift lock on mobile so basically shift locking is not possible on every single game by every single game i mean like not all game which uh, in which shift lock works in pc like in tower of hell in block suit this will work like if you see in the bottom right of my screen so let me show you right over here if i click it you can see my shift lock just turns on on my phone so if you have this icon anywhere on any game uh, you are going to be able to use shift lock for example in blocks fruit you will have one in the bottom right around here just click on this and just click on the plus and uh, put a key so take a key hold it and drag and drop it to the shift lock icon it could be in very bottom there in the block shoot it is there so once you do that just press shift on your keyboard and once you press shift the shift lock is going to work so let me click shift on my keyboard you can see my cursor is right over here but my shift lock is working now you can see now i don't have a camera to show my keyboard but yes this is how it is working so you can see now the next thing which is the most important thing i would say is the compass uh, so just click on it and drag it all the way over to the joystick now you can decrease the size if you want to i like to keep it this much you can i would suggest you to keep it a little bit big if you don't have anything around it now basically your wsd will work let me show you so you can see now my camera and my wsd is working at the same time and if i press space you can see this is also working and if i press shift sh even shift is working we are almost uh, done but now what are we going to do the only thing left is the camera like the camera is like you can see we need to left click and drag it and then once the cam once the cursor goes all the way over there it's just not gonna work so 
what are we going to do is click on the logo again and the plus icon here choose the site icon so choose it and don't put it to the left side just put it to the right here so once you put that there you are literally done fire might be useful it's going to just like left click uh, on anything uh, basically what we going to need is the key so literally you can if you still don't know just like put a click and hold the key and drag it wherever you want to click like for example in mobile you would touch there right but this time just instead of touching you just take the key and put it there okay now you can choose any key bind so choose for example i'm going to use t there so once you click t this area is going to get pressed and the shop is going to get opened so that is uh, how key works next is compass so compass literal just drag and drop it to your uh, joystick and WSD would work make sure you put the site at the right hand side of your screen now just press right click once okay just press it once and once you press it you can see in like in PC you need to right click and hold to move the camera around you don't need to do that on mobile you can just press the right click once and move your mouse around and you can see this is just going to work perfectly fine and the procedure is same for block suit as well if this works please just please subscribe because these videos take a long time for me to make like just be honest here you might have not seen anyone else make this video have you seen i don't think and also there is one issue here which i want to fix but i have no idea how to fix you if you need to move your camera you will need to use your phone so that is one issue other than that this thing just works super good yes this works great Alright, so yes, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and this video helped you at even a little bit, then please subscribe and like the video because this took me a long time to make. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.